All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel, and today we're doing another run of Pokey Rogue. Now, I do have one on the screen, but we're actually going to change it for a second. So, let's just run back to the title screen because we have two runs currently. Uh, one is at level 400 and one's at 325, but let's look at the 400 one first. So in this run, I actually got some really good Pokemon, but I messed up and forgot to heal before the boss fight, so this is a dead run. Um, so we did get Mega Gyarados. We got Gigantamax um, Rillaboom, but then we merged it with Articuno that we caught. We had Tinkerton, we had Zekron, which is our starter one. We caught a Kyogre, which is insane. We also hatched a Groudon. Um, the reason these aren't recorded is because I'm usually doing them on my iPad on like my lunch break at work I'm just on the play so I do apologize for that this is why I try and keep my eggs now for when I get home and record um, and we also caught a Cresselia with a Master Ball so that is the one that is basically a dead run so I'm going to end this here there's nothing we can do to win everything just kills basically because we're weak to fairy the two mons that are left but if you have a look at the items we had, so we had three black glasses, one mystic water, uh, one king's rock. We had one golden egg, eight um, lucky eggs, obviously the Gigantamax, three leaves. We got two soul dews, a soothe bell, so much stuff. And we were in, we were doing really well. But unfortunately, we did actually lose this run. Like there's nothing, we, we just lose here. Yeah. No matter what move types, you, you lose you lose there there's nothing we could do i didn't even continue because i was just weak to fairy so i knew we were going to lose so we can leave that one there now this one this one is still a win and i started off with a kyogre now kyogre um what if you don't look at the move sets you get with it already learns origin pulse from the get-go you just have to go to manage moves that is insanely broken not only because it's a level, it must be a level 1 move to appear straight away, right? But it hits both parties, it does massive damage, and it's basically carried me this entire run. So let's just run over our teams here. So currently we have Kyogre with Drizzle, which is quiet, which is special attack up, speed down. With two leftovers, one Shower Bell, two Mystic Waters, a Revive, two Dragon Fangs, which need to move. Um, four... Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, citrus berries, a zinc, and then a baton. Our mega guard of which has one twisted spoon. That's it. Our tinkton, which has a miracle leaf, a charcoal, a metal coat, a black belt, a king's rock, a mystic water, which can now go into Kyogre, uh, hardstone, and then seven silt scars, which make cover broken. Um, a hydragon, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, a Tyranitar, which I'm hoping to be a Mega Tyranitar soon. And then we did just catch this Regulecki. Unfortunately, once again, it is not on recording because I did catch this when I was at work. But there's two golden eggs on this and seven lucky eggs. So as you can see, very good. Uh, we should catch up with EXP. Now this is new, right? So if you basically per 100 floors, you'll get a candy. Say things here. Per 100 floors, you'll get a candy. 60 for Gardevoir. 450 for Kyogre, which is insane. So, you are getting candy as you're walking out, which is really good. Especially if you are doing thingy. But, Kyogre, right? Water Spout, which he also learns on level up. Right? Just, just, you don't even need to do anything. As long as it hits, which we're paralyzed in a minute, so it doesn't. Um... Also, because Kyogre's bulky, if you build him bulky, you are sorted. Like, he took no no damage from that electric type move. Plus, he's got two leftovers and a shell bell. So, we just heal, 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 heal. Now, I would take the revive here, but there's no need. Um, we're going to take the candy jar. Uh, there's no items that we want to take, so once again... Uh, we're just going to water spout and then moon blast. Once again, there's no need to do anything. It's just we did actually kill the conqueror actually. Um, but this is a really good run. Now in the last run that I got to level 500, 
like just wrecked me. So we are actually going to get rid of the paralysis. Uh, we're going to revive the Tinkton just to keep XP, even though we've already got enough, and then use our rare candy on Kyogre. Now that is one of the things I have learned during these runs, that if you want to go far, then having obviously your mon that you're going to be using one have all the items it needs which i'm actually going to go and sort now oh we can max law nice so tinkerton has a mystic water makes kyoga even more broken kyoga has two dragon fangs which can go to high dragon i don't think there's anything else uh let's have a look hardstone no we got rid of that uh, oh, actually, Hearthstone can go to Tyranza. And I didn't get the Magnet, which is a shame. Um, so I'm in two minds here, right? Because Max Law helps us out so much. We've already got one running, which has 11 left. But we also have Ultra Balls there, which will help us greatly too. But we will go with this. Now, you'd think that this is just an easy fight. Um, I'm actually going to try and get the... Uh, black glasses which we did straight away makes this incredibly easy because now we just tank it heal and then what's about dead so Kyo if you do catch a Kyogre it is insanely good now I will obviously be doing another run with a Groudon to see how different their movesets are things like that so definitely keep an eye out uh, we're going to take the law to try and get double fights now the reason you want double fights in an endless run is because you want to get as many items as possible. Um, but as you can see I've got one purple ticket, eight got, uh, these tickets for pull five and then two normal. I have already got the ground on so I do not need that so I'm just going to pull for some shinies. Uh, I didn't even see what I got there, hit, hit thingy twice. I'm hoping to get at least one epic from this. Oh there you go, there's the one epic. Um, Maybe a Manaphy Egg too. Because I've, I've got a few Fionns, not a Manaphy yet. So would really like a Manaphy. Not only that, the more shinies you have, the better luck you get. Also, there's three tiers of luck. One, two, and three. Three being the best. So hopefully, we get some more shinies from this. Now, unfortunately, we got a few rares and an epic. Oh! I said a few rares and epic. We've got a few rares and an epic in this one set. So I'll take that. Another rare. And another rare. Okay. Uh, will you switch Kyogre? No, but I will switch Mega Guard War to Tinkerton. Like I said, it's not needed for this one because we are just going to fake out one mom. Now that is the beauty of having Tinkerton as your other move. Like uh, other Pokemon. So if you do come up against a legendary you can set up where, like now for instance, right? So on number one, there's a lucky egg. Um, so right, let's, let me just go through this. So number one, there's a lucky egg. And that is, and we've got black glasses on one, two. So what we can do now is obviously we want to kill the second one, which is this one. So we can fake out the first one, right? That means that not only can we Ice Beam the second one again, gets that one done. Um, oh, actually, I might be wrong with that. Oh, we could be wrong here. I am going to risk losing the Lucky Egg, but I will just cover it anyway. Uh, I think we got the lucky egg, so that's all we needed from this fight. So now we can just kill. Right? There's, there's no reason to keep these alive. We got the lucky egg, and that's all we needed. Um, so in the next one after this, we can now transfer that to our main mod. Now, we're in a bad situation on this one because we need both the items. Um, so we'll calm mind and then cover the Stoutland first. The reason I've gone for the Stoutland first is obviously the Silk um, 
scarf, is it? Silk scarf? That helps our cover. So, it's always nice to have. The lucky egg we've got lots of. So, if we do kill with Tinkerton here, before we get the silk scarf, it doesn't matter. Because we have already got some. It's just nice to have. Same thing with the lucky egg. We can keep these around. Um, we actually died, which sucks. Didn't even realize Regilecki's up to full power. Uh, so yeah, we did miss out on a few items there, but it is, it's the risk you take, especially if you've got two on the team. Um, like if you get a mon that you've got two, that there's items for, you do usually have to either pick one or risk dying to get both. Now, I always risk dying to get both because you do get quite a lot of money. Um, so I'm actually going to just max revive the Tinkerton. Put the lure on and then move forward. So in this one, there is nothing here I want. So Kyogre just wins it for us. But there's a reason I took Regilecki because I did actually have a um, Garganapple there. Doing Salt Cure, things like that. But it just wasn't great. I feel like Salt Cure is good. But you need to have it mixed with... Um, like a leech seed, something like that, to make basically make you OP. Um, so we're actually going to take the super law here. No, we are going to swap out the Regilecki for the Tinkerton now. And then we're going to Ice Beam the Weezing and cover this. Because they do have a lucky egg, that's what I mean. So we are now... We're in a position where Tington will most likely not die. Kyogre won't die because obviously he's healing every turn. We've got the Lucky Egg. That helps us out. So now we can just Origin Pulse and play rough and see where we get to. Um, and we're doing really well. So hopefully we can get past that uh, bit where we got to last time. So Regilecki doesn't need it. Mega Gradwall's got one more turn of it. Um, but we can give that now to Mega Gardevoir, making it even more powerful. So, once again, this one doesn't matter, so we can Origin Pulse. I would usually Water Spout, but we do run out of moves with that, and if we have a boss at the end, we won't be able to take that down really easily. So, right. So, Mega Gardevoir has finished, so we can just basically keep moving these eggs down the list, and then, obviously, Kyogre can get the rare candies when needed. Uh, basically makes us more powerful, ready for the next fight. Now, if you do get a Pokemon that is really powerful, and either you don't want, even you need to kill it, and you're thinking, how am I going to do it? Having Fake Out, unless it's a Ghost type, is really efficient. So, like now, for instance, right? I feel like Machamp's not the threat here. So we can. Fake out the Conkledor means he's not going to hit, and then hopefully Kyogre, if we were using the Origin Pulse, will hit both, killing both in the process. But if it didn't, you took you took out that threat for the first one. That's so mean. Dynamax. I don't know if we've got any Dynamax in our team. No, we don't. I'm taking the Master Ball all day. See, same thing here. There's a Lucky Egg and a Silk Scarf. Now, I'm not going to go for the Silk Scarf. Because I know Excadrill can take out the Tinkerton. So I'd rather go for the Lucky Egg. Which will help us with XP. Rather than going for the Silk Scarf, which Tinkerton could basically get wiped out beforehand. So, we now have one last move before we die. We didn't get a lucky egg. That's another thing. You might sometimes not get the item, and you've just got to risk it. Always a good thing to risk it, though, rather than waiting. Now, Kyogre can get another four levels. The next fight is 
easy. I actually should have changed the um, lucky eggs and stuff because it probably would have been maxed out by now. And Tington needs them levels. Oh, we got some eggs hatching. These should be potentially shiny. And um, the last shiny I did get was Applin. Now, I do want to try and get a Hydrapple evolution at some point. I'm just not getting the right apples. Uh, Rock Dwarf. Cool. Uh, ooh, full attack. That's what we like to see. We have got a lot of eggs opening, so hopefully that's a good one for us. So obviously God War, Meg God War are OP. That's what we've got in our team at the minute. Obviously being a fairy type as well. Um, basically what I'm trying to do with an endless run is trying to get Tinkerton. Hey, we've got a Corsola shiny. Nice. Now, don't know what Corsola that was. So we'll have to keep an eye out and have a look because if it's not the Evolution one, that just sucks. Um, but I think that might be the only one we get from this eggs. If we get another one, I'd be happy. But we have opened a few amount of eggs since, so uh, potentially getting towards the end now. Though we do have the rare ones that should be opening soon, and that's where Applin was in the rare ones. So, hey, we've got another shiny Clobopus. Nice. Uh, hasty, limber, not the greatest IVs, but I'll take it. Shiny's a shiny. Snom looked like a shiny there, but it definitely wasn't. Tutel, tentacle, there we go. So we're at the end. Um, we are going to give it Tinkerton. And nugget, yeah, take the nugget. What's our next fight? So, there is a fighting band on this. Now, I'm going to risk it. We got it. Nice. One, that gives us major XP. Um, so, I will take that. Uh, time Anitar. This is the hardest bit about this is changing it all over so you've got a band as well but I'm not I mean it's the final one we may as well try it and try and get an item oh we did we got it straight away okay well we don't need to stay in then uh, go to Kyogre Kyogre wins this straight away like we just healed like what 800 that's insane and then obviously the shell bar heals even more. Kyogre is broken. I know people are saying like Zashin's broken. And he is because he's a fairy type. Obviously with the attack boost straight away as well. But Kyogre is broken. And um, we did actually get the magnet there as well. Which is really handy. Um, did we get the next citrus berry? No. Okay. So let's transfer the magnet over to Regulecki because he's the only one that's going to use it. Um, might take the law. We do need two Pokemon in each fight. Uh, let's swap the Mega Gardevoir. At least I'm going to swap out at the end of the next fight. But Water Spout is just so broken. I mean, even Mega Gardevoir with Moonblast is doing so much damage. So if you are looking to do a really long run, you need to have a Mon that can cover. That is just the main thing. Our Tyranitar actually already finished. That's insane. Let's see what Pokemon we get. A Magena. That takes Tinkerton out of this running. Um, okay. That is really good IVs as well. Um, 
yeah. So let's Moonblast <laughs> and Ice Beam. Oh! Just realized we have a Master Ball. So I am just catching this. I'm not going to attack with a second Mon just in case we did kill it. So I'm just going to Calm Mind. Okay, we just got killed. Right, Regulecki, Thunder Cage. I'm not gonna lie, we could potentially try and catch this. Cause we do have Thunder Wave now. That's one of the hardest things we had was we didn't have a Paralysis Mon. But now we do have Thunder Wave. We can put status on, which helps us out greatly, and we're not relying. Oh, okay, we're not relying on the uh, freeze from an ice beam, basically. Okay, Reggie Lecky is so fast. Wow. Um, let's go Tinkerton here. I was going to say, surely you can't just keep taking these. Um, I think now we just throw balls. Oh wow, we took that. I think we might catch this without even using the Master Ball. Which is actually insane. It means that if we ever do get stuck in a fight, other than a boss, like a, a Paradox fight, we will always be able to just Master Ball it. This isn't the fight though, so I don't really want to... I feel like we're going to kill. Toxic will definitely... Obviously, we can't Toxic because we're because it's paralyzed. But... Come on. Stay in the ball. Now, we could Ice Beam. Oh, that was a double jiggle. We're going to run out of Ultra Balls very soon. Which is a bad sign. Never mind, we caught it. Okay, now we have a problem. We set up with Tinkerton, so I'm not going to take them again on the team just yet. We could get rid of Gardevoir, if we're not really using her, but she's OP, so. The only one we could really get rid of would be Tyranitar, because we're not using him. And do I want two steel fairies that are different? He's got no items on him, so we could. We're not using him at the minute. Um, he's not got the greatest of natures either. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm taking it. Now, we could have got rid of the Hydreigon as well, but I do want a dragon type. So we will have to get Meganer up a few levels, which means all of the Pokemon will be under-leveled for now. And I can't be paralyzed. So I am actually going to... We could take the full heal on the second Mon. Um, I'd rather take the Rogue Ball just in case we do encounter something else. That we want to catch. Like, this wouldn't be a bad catch. Oh wow, it got froze. And lock on's a really good move. Um, I mean, it's a free catch. Now, the reason that is, I didn't have it in the decks already. Uh, we do have a max revive. Oh, McGinn is going to be near enough fully leveled. Ooh. 
we have to bring Tinkerton in here and then we have to Ice Beam and Fake Out because we don't want to get the Never mind, we got it. We got the item. Nice. That means the Twisted Spoon can go onto our Godwa. We're just getting so many good items. It is so good. Right, so Tink Tink give Twisted Spoon to Mega Godwa. Um, is there anything else I can kind of give? Metal Coat on Megana would be good. But I feel like it's not really worth. There's not really any items here that's worth. I might have to just take. I'll take the leopard berry. We don't really need it, but obviously PP is a massive thing, especially with water spout, which is already maxed out at eight. So we'll get to three fifty, and then we'll stop for the day. I will carry this run on. So, I won't be here in the next episode, but we'll be close by, maybe like 400. I will not go into the next um, thingy fight, Eternatus fight. Because that's, that's just, that's where we got stuck on the last one, and I don't want to go further than that, then, rather than getting it on record. This is a pain. McGinn is nearly max level, so I'm going to give this to Mega God War. Same thing there. I'm going to take the Golden Punch. Now, the good thing about this, obviously we want max amount of encounters, max amount of double battles, things like that. And having this Golden Punch will do damage to both, meaning we get so much more um, items from it. So, I'm actually going to take the law rather than the gold. Ah, see? This is where we need Tinkton out, because this is a free Silk Scarf. If we get it, like, we're that powerful with our cover, because of how many we've got, we sometimes miss out on the item. But you don't really mind. Ooh. That's big. Um, it's not big as in like thingy but Kyogre is already water so having water as a terror type you're just getting free um, what items has it got absolutely nothing that we want okay swap out to Kyogre who basically kills alright can't mind we kill anyway but just in case, it's always going to go first. So, water spout kills. Yeah. Being a terror water in that fight makes it a free battle with anyone. You, you're never going to lose that. Not with a Kyogre, anyway. So, let's see, before we go, let's see how much money we gain from this. Because obviously, we are just going to. We've got 190. So we gained 1,124 from that. That's not too bad. If we can get a few more of them, I'd be happy. Um, who's got the... Right, we are just going to give it... Now, I always give it back to Kyogre as he's our main mon. Um, right, so let's... Ice Beam and Fake Out the Raticate. Ice beam and cover. Once again, we could lose out on this item very easily. A grip claw would be nice around now, meaning that we get two procs of it. We actually got the item. Nice. But yeah, having two procs of that would be nice. Um, if you don't know what a proc is, basically if you have an item that gives a specific skill, we need that one. That's a fairy type one. But um, you want it to only proc once uh, sorry you want it to proc more than once so you get more chances of getting that so I used to play a game called Dokkan Battle um, 
very very good uh, Dragon Ball Z game if you haven't played it it's just it's too got tree for me and you, if you can't get the new units the content isn't like you can't do it basically so one of the main things about that is if you have more than one oh got eggs hatching if you have say attack up attack up attack up and it's got different sets of it you can get all three to proc at once and you can do major damage so it is really good a dino ooh not good IVs though fruity backs that's a good one I didn't have that already so that's nice Cursula or Corsula, sorry. I don't know if that's the shiny one that we got. I hope it is, but I don't think it was. Um, not really bothered about you. It's a Titan, that's also a really good mon. Uh, Stone Journey, not bothered about that. Tyro, not bothered about that. Uh, Phalanx, not really bothered about that either. Ooh, another Silk Scarf. Silk Scarf, sorry. I mean, that's going to happen. Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave it at 354. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like. Comment if you are enjoying this series. Sorry that there's so many videos that are coming out. I'm just addicted to this game at the minute. Um, not only that, we are going to be doing a stream on it. I'm going to say Friday. Um, hopefully, if I've got all my software set up, things like that. Um, also, we do have the rival lot coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.